that includes incumbent Senator uh, Michael Bennett, who also secured now his third term in office. He told me at least early on in the night that he was not so sure that we could call Colorado true blue, but as the hours continue, that could change, of course. But he also says it is very clear that Coloradans are calling on the Democrats to tackle the tough issues facing our state and our nation. What are your top priorities? I think my top priority for America and for Colorado is to create an economy in this country that when it grows, it grows for everybody, not just the people at the very top. We've had 40 years of trickle-down economics where, where working people and middle-class families are struggling just to make ends meet. We can't accept that anymore. Obviously, I'd like to make the child tax credit, which I've worked on all these years, permanent. And then it's very important to me that we continue to do the work I've already started to protect our watersheds. And just moments ago, I actually spoke with Attorney General Phil Weiser, who spoke to some of those same issues. Uh, again, the, the excitement is clearly here in the Democratic headquarters. While the room might be thinning out ever so slightly, I think that this is going to be a, a very exciting night for those who have supported the Democrats these last several months. Reporting live in downtown Denver, I'm Kelly Worthman, covering Colorado First. Thank you, Kelly. It's a much different story in Denver's tech center at the Republican headquarters where Alan Janay is tonight. Alan, tough night for Republicans. Well, thing, it, it really was, Sean, and uh, things have gone pretty much quiet here now because many of the races a lot of these folks had hopes for really are over at this point. However, Congressional District 8 is still outstanding. We will see what happens, but it could be quite a while before we know what truly happens there. The big story of tonight was Joe O'Day, and he talked to the folks earlier conceding defeat, talking about it was a tough pill to swallow, and he stayed true to his core and to his beliefs throughout this race, uh, but he said it was a very disappointing outcome. I also spoke with him after this, and here's what he told me. We ran one hell of a campaign. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of all the people that helped me for the last year and a half, and we just came up short. Bottom line is, I'll go back to work sometime this week and uh, get back in my life. I asked him if he was considering any future political office. He had nothing to say yet about that. And we talked about the future of the Republican Party. I asked, is this now a blue state, as Sean Boy just talked about? He didn't talk or address that, but O'Day did say that he does have hopes. He wants to stay in the state of Colorado and wants to continue to work on things here. Also speaking tonight, uh, disappointed uh, Pam Anderson, who ran for Secretary of State. And she addressed the crowd, talking about the need to respect election results and she said that voting has been weaponized by both sides and that still concerns her. In Greenwood Village, I'm Alan Janae covering Colorado First.